I had a question from Sarah. How much should I be paying for a new website? Uh, common question. Um, we get asked it all the time, and we often get asked it in the in the sense of it's more expensive than I thought it was going to be because my friend got a website from somewhere abroad and it only cost them eighty dollars. And you know, why has this web designer told me they want six thousand dollars just to design the website? Um, the answer is it depends. If you want to do e-commerce on your website then you're in a whole new level of, of expense, um, which is why some people may go and use a Shopify. Depends how much freedom you want to be able to use your website and how much you want your website to be a response to your uniqueness and your specificness. So if you want a website that looks quite nice, um, but doesn't have an enormous amount of flexibility, you can get a Squarespace website, I think, couple hundred bucks a year, um, not too expensive, through to a lot of our small business clients will pay six or seven thousand dollars for the design and build of a website, but they're getting a website that does what they want it to do in the way that they want to do it. It's unique. The person who's put it together has actually written it in a way that it will load quickly, which is important for Google. You know, some of those cheaper websites that you might go out and get will never rank in, in SEO because they're way too slow uh, to load. And then in terms of your copywriting, you know, it, it really depends. Of course, you can find somebody else to write you words for your website for hundreds of dollars. Or if you want copywriting that is, you know, to go to a, a response to what people need to hear from you to be persuaded to use you versus the competition, then you've got to be paying someone who's going to spend the time with you to understand your business and understand your competition and your customers and what's going to persuade them and then has the skill to turn that into writing. It looks effortless. Like the point of copywriting is it should look effortless. You shouldn't feel like you're being sold to. You should feel like you're in the right place and you're getting excited to work with that person. So, you know, that can then be thousands of, of dollars. So it really depends on what you want to get from your website. But the way that I would encourage you to think about it is how long would you expect to keep a website? You know, probably at least a couple of years. And how much would it be worth for you to get one or two or 10 or 100 more clients out of that website over those two years? And then, then think from that point of view, what would that be worth to you? If somebody said to you, I can get you another 10 clients a month, what would that be worth to you? If they said, I can get you another 100 clients a month, what would that be worth to you? And then look at that as an investment rather than underinvesting, <clears throat> underinvesting so that you've got a website, tick box, but the website doesn't actually do anything because the real cost of a website is always going to be the business that you lose. You know, so you, can, you can save $4,000 on your website but how many potential clients would you have to lose over the course of two years before that $4,000 became completely irrelevant? Um, and it's been far more expensive to you to have a website, but a website that doesn't do anything. So Sarah, I hope that answers your question. Um, we've also got um, blog posts on the site that you can find by Googling about how to choose a website copywriter. And we've actually got a blog post called why are websites so expensive? So if you go to taylist.agency, you can find those blog posts or you can find them by Googling taylist and why are websites so expensive or taylist and how to choose a copywriter.